Good morning, I'm Sharon Tang. Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Michael. We start with breaking news. There are new bombshell allegations against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. A third accuser is now coming out with her stories of sexual misconduct. CBS 2's Sandra Mitchell joins us now live with the shocking detail. Sandy? Yeah, this really doesn't sound good. Not only is she a third accuser, she's released her name and she is giving details saying Kavanaugh was part of gang rapes in high school. But Kavanaugh says he doesn't even know the woman. Attorney Michael Avenatti has released a sworn statement from a client accusing Judge Brett Kavanaugh of lining up at high school parties allegedly to rape girls. Avenatti's client, Julie Swetnick, says, I also witnessed efforts by Mark Judge, Brett Kavanaugh, and others to cause girls to become inebriated and disoriented so they could then be gang raped in a side room or bedroom by a train of numerous boys. Avenatti told ABC's The View that his client is prepared to testify about the claims. I mean, the details in this declaration are specific. Uh, they are shocking, uh, but above all else, they are true. And my client stands behind them 100%. Swetnick says she was the victim of one of the gang rapes. Her statement was released to the Senate Judiciary Committee before it was made public. Dr. Christine Blasey Ford will testify before the committee tomorrow morning, but Republicans will defer all of their questions for her to Arizona Prosecutor Rachel Mitchell. Has experience in ferreting out information in cases of allegations of sexual assault. Democrats say Blasey is not on trial. I think it's passive aggressive. I think it's passive aggressive. President Trump responding to these new developments on Twitter. He called Michael Avenatti a third-rate lawyer, pushing false accusations against Kavanaugh. He also said he is just looking for attention and doesn't want people to look at his past record and relationships. A total low life. Kavanaugh's attorney says her client has never heard of Swetnick and none of this ever happened. But tomorrow, the Senate Judiciary Committee is expected to hear testimony from Kavanaugh and his first accuser, Ford. That starts at 7 a.m. We're going to have the proceedings live right here on CBS2 in a special report.